Contemplating God's Greatness by Charles Spurgeon Lift up your eyes, behold the heavens, the work of God's fingers. Behold the sun guided in his daily march. Go forth at midnight, and behold the heavens. Consider the stars and the moon. Look upon these works of God's hands. And if you are men of sense, and your souls are attuned to the high music of the spheres, you will say, What is man, that you are mindful of him? My God, when I survey the boundless fields of ether, and see those ponderous orbs rolling therein, when I consider how vast are your dominions, so wide that an angel's wing might flap to all eternity and never reach a boundary, I marvel that you should look on insects so obscure as man. I am so little that I shrink into nothingness when I behold the almightiness of Jehovah, so little that the difference between the molecule and man dwindles into nothing when compared with the infinite chasm between God and man. Let your mind rove upon the great doctrines of the Godhead. Consider the existence of God from before the foundations of the world. Behold Him who is, and was, and is to come, the Almighty. Let your soul comprehend as much as it can of the infinite, and grasp as much as possible of the eternal. And I am sure, if you have minds at all, they will shrink with awe. The tall archangel bows himself before his master's throne, and we shall cast ourselves into the lowest dust when we feel what base nothings, what insignificant specks we are when compared with our all-adorable Creator. Labor, O soul, to know your nothingness and learn it by contemplating God's greatness. This Puritan devotional has been brought to you by Grace Gems, a treasury of ageless sovereign grace writings. Please visit our website at www.gracegems.org where you can browse and freely download thousands of choice books, sermons, and quotes along with select audio messages. No donations accepted. Thank you.